Good morning and welcome back to the Country Traveller channel. We're out and about outdoors again on the Norfolk Broads. We're starting our trip at Wroxham and we're motoring down the River Bure to Acle Bridge. There are several boatyards in Wroxham so lots of people start their Norfolk Broads holidays here. You'll know you're in Wroxham when you see the Roy's signs. Roy's of Wroxham is a great family organisation and owns several different businesses in the town. Why not spend some money with them while you're here? We hired our boat this time from Barnes Brinkcraft. As there was only the two of us, plus Edith, the miniature schnauzer, we hired one of the smaller boats, a forward drive cruiser, the Sonnet. Barnes Brinkcraft's website describes the Sonnet as having a light and airy open plan galley and saloon with a separate double berth in the aft cabin. It's a really easy boat to get around and it's single level throughout and has a very wide side deck which makes it very easy to get on and off. Perfect for us then! After we've been shown the controls and a demo of how to moor the boat, we set off down the River Bure, past the Swans, towards Acle Bridge. The journey will take three and a half to four hours, or longer if we stop along the way. Keep to the right of the river and watch out for day boats that probably aren't all keeping to the right of the river. There's a four mile an hour speed limit on the river in busy areas, so don't go too fast. As you progress down the river, you'll pass a lot of lovely properties on both sides of the river. You might also see some hopeful waterfowl looking for something to eat. When you get out of Roxham, the speed limit increases to 5 miles an hour. It even increases to 6 miles an hour in some places. You'll pass stretches of open water on both sides of the river. These are broads and you can explore these and moor up if you wish. Some have moorings for you to tie up, others don't. Soon you'll come to the lovely village of Horning with several pubs, restaurants and shops. It's a great place to stop but does get very busy. You can book moorings outside of the pubs, but of course you'll need to pay for these. I believe that you do get a refund if you eat in the pub where you've moored, but I wouldn't swear to that. Horning is a good place to moor up on your last night, before you take your boat back to Wroxham, so that's worth thinking about. Whilst at Horning you might see this, a Mississippi paddle steamer. This is called Southern Comfort and is based at Horning. It runs regular trips down to Ranworth and back. You might want to give it a try. You might also see one of these. This is a wherry. There are eight of these lovely boats still operating on the Norfolk Broads, several of which are available for charter. If you meet one of these, or any sailboat, you must give way. Power gives way to sail. Cruising on down the river, look out for wildlife. You'll see herons on the sides of the river and various geese, swans and grebes. We saw an otter once along this stretch of the River Bure. Here's Edith looking out for some wildlife. You might see a marsh harrier flying over the reed beds. There are quite a few windmills along the river too. The turn off for Ranworth comes up on your right. This is a great place to moor up. I've made a separate video about Ramworth and there should be a link at the top now and in the text below. I hope you're finding this video useful. If you are, please think about subscribing to our channel to help it grow. Thanks very much. On the left you'll soon see where the River Ant joins the River Bure. You can go up here if you want to visit Ludham or Howe Hill or Stalham. In Stalham you'll find the Museum of the Broads, that's well worth a visit. We're going on past the River Ant and on towards Acle Bridge. The ruins of St Bennet's Abbey appear on the left. You can moor up here and have a look around. Sometimes you'll find that the river's quite busy. Other times you'll have the river to yourselves. 
Soon after St. Bennet's Abbey, the river takes a sharp turn right. If you turn left, you'll be going up the River Thurn to Potter's Higham. We're following the River Bure to the right, and the next place that we'll come to is Acle Bridge. You can moor on either side of the river at Acle Bridge. On the right, as you go downstream, there's a nightly charge, but the last time we went nobody came to collect it. Mooring is free on the other side of the river, so it gets more crowded. You can fill up with water here and get a pump out of waste if you need it. There's a very nice pub at Acle Bridge right on the river with a big garden and it's dog friendly. You can walk up to Acle Village to top up groceries or just go for a nice walk. There's a footpath all the way so you don't need to walk on the busy road. There's also a circular walk around Acle Village, which is about five miles long. Ideal if you're counting your daily steps. I hope you found this video useful. Please give the video a like and look out for more Norfolk Brawls videos from the Country Traveller channel. There's a link to some of them in the text below. Ask any questions in the comments as well, and I'll answer them if I can. Thanks very much for watching.